Hey YouTube, welcome to my shop. I'm Mike and this is Round 2 Woodworks. Although today we're not going to be doing working with wood, we're going to be working with PVC. What I'm going to be doing today is putting a quick and simple rod and accessory holder on my on my float tube. It'll go around, it'll be held in with uh, Velcro, and there'll be several places for uh, fishing rods and the like. So let's get on I got a measured I've got uh, I've got my uh, tees that I need and uh, I've got my tape measure and I've got a pin and we've got everything needed to start this so let's get going on it okay first off of course we got to cut the links for the sides doesn't have to be exact science, I just want it in the ballpark. Okay, the sides are done. Now we've got to measure the end piece. Let's get on that. Uh, okay, a simple cut or two cuts on the for the back piece, and uh, all the parts are cut, and we can start assembling. Two back pieces and a T will go in between them. All right, now it's time to. Glue the parts together. making a mess I'm gonna to have to get a bigger piece of paper or a newspaper okay YouTube I've got the frame all glued up and ready uh, to put the uh, rod holder extensions on and I'll give you if you're gonna be doing this give you one little hint I use that Christie's red hot blue glue it says dry fasting it, it's almost instant setting so when you put the, the pipes together, make sure that they're lined up right, because if uh, you wait just a couple of seconds, you're not going to turn them, which uh, I found out and had to go back to Lowe's and get a couple of more elbows and a T. So uh, just beware that, you know, when you put the pipes in, make sure that they're square to however you want them or, or angled however you want them, because this glue dries fast. So let's get onto the rods now, the rod holders. Okay, YouTube, this is it. The uh, rod and accessory holder. Now what I've done is I've uh, I've got it like this so I can you know change positions or whatever I want the rods or whatever. The fr ones up front I've got uh, to where they can turn. I I've got to uh, threaded here so I can turn it straight, turn it back, whatever. And uh, the back one, in case I ever want to take a video of in my fishing experience, I can do it like that. Put the little tripod in there. So I think that'll work out all right. 
Now let's put it on the float tube, let it dry up for a few minutes and put it on the float tube and see how it uh, the float tube handles it. That'll be the test. Okay, now I'm going to cut the suction out that the rod, the reel will hang down in like that. Let's get on it. Of course, I'm using my Dremel. should work about perfect. I just got to get the files out and a little sandpaper and smooth it out and we're we're ready to put this on float tube. do it. Alright, let's take a look on how it fits on the float tube. First of all, it's kind of a horseshoe figure. We've got a rod holder and another rod holder. The, the three-quarter inch tubes are held on by Velcro there and there, there, and there. As they go around to the back, I have got a, uh, a strap from the D-ring up around the, the base of it just to hold it a little, little better. Then it comes back, goes, a, goes across. Then on the back there is a pipe for a, a camera if I want to take some pictures then it goes around and there's another strap and then on down to another rod holder and another rod holder so that's the way I got this thing set up to to hold my fishing rods and camera and other things so let's let's uh, see what it looks like when it's kind of uh, gonna be in use. All right, YouTube. There's the old uh, accessory uh, thing, all put up and held up and ready to go. Now, if you're out there fishing, you uh, grab one of your fishing holders, put it in. Your rod will go in there and slide down in. Now, uh, this foam thing I bought from Bass Pro, I have a tendency to drop things, so uh, if I do, I, if I do drop my rod, that'll save save me $150 worth of rod and reel. And then if you have another rod, which I've got a license for two rods in California, I can put one up here. I can put one over here, or one over here, whatever, and uh, I can switch out. Normally I don't fish two rods, but I'll have two rods ready to go. And uh, that's about, about the, the gist of it. I've got tackle, tackle in this side. I'll have the rod holders and my anchor in in this side 
I've got uh, my scent in this side. I would have a cold soda pop in this side. Here's uh, my another fish fish uh, a rod holder. But I think what I'll do is, it, if I really get into this and I like it a lot, I might get a, a fish finder. So I'll use this for the fish finder, hummingbird or Lorance or whatever. The uh, stripping net will come up over your lap to there and to there. Like that, and uh, it's got a, a, a fish measuring on inch and centimeters. In case you need to check, I'm a catch and release guy, so it doesn't matter how long they are. The only retake time I'll keep them is if they're hurt, if they if they gut swallow or something, and I heard him getting it out. Other than that, I think this little uh, rod and reel holder is going to work out real good for me. It's been raining in California the last few days, so uh, tomorrow is supposed to be sunny all day long, so I think I'll give it a try tomorrow. Now, fishing the day after a storm's not the best, but just being out there and sitting and relaxing, you can take the seat and almost put it down to a recliner to where you can just uh, lay out there and relax. And I'm, I'm looking forward to it. So. Anyway, YouTube, I guess guess that ends another small, simple DIY project. And I appreciate you stopping by and spending your time. And and I uh, I wish you well. And until next time, we will see you then. Take care of yourselves.